All right. Good morning, everybody. We'll start our uh, exam target special paper two, part one discussion. Right. Question number one. An organelle involved with detoxification as well as formation of transport vesicles. Right. Detoxification of peroxides. So this is both these functions are done by smooth ER. Now, if we take rough ER, rough endoplasmic reticulum, they produce only transport vesicles, but they can't, they do not involve in detoxification. And when we come to peroxisomes, they can do detoxification, but they can't produce transport vesicles. So here the answer should be third answer. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Question number two, which of the following is a polymer of ketose type sugars? Now, you know monosaccharides, we can divide into two groups based on their carbonyl group, right? As ketoses and aldoses. So, um, there are two examples given in the resource book. Actually, in the resource book, they have given only, mentioned only one, right? We can take fructose, Right? In the resource book, they have given fructose as a ketose sugar. Also, ribulose. It is also a ketose type sugar. Right. If we take these polysaccharides, cellulose, it is a polymer of glucose. But inulin, inulin it is a linear and storage polysaccharide. And it is a polymer of fructose. So for the second question, the answer should be second answer. Question number three, which of the following consists of phosphodiester bonds in its structure? So in unit two, we have to learn about some different uh, um, molecules. Like if you take carbohydrates, they compose of glycosidic bonds. And when we come to uh, proteins, there are different types of bonds, uh, mainly peptide bonds. Other than peptide bonds, there are hydrogen bonds, disulfide di bonds, like uh, the van der Waal interactions. And these phosphodiester bonds, they are found in nucleic acids. What is the monomer of, monomer of nucleic acid? That is nucleotide. <laughs> Right, uh, so during the formation of nucle nucleic acids, millions of nucleotides join by phosphodiester bond, right? And they form these polynucleotide chains by condensation reaction between hydroxyl group of the phosphate of phosphate of one molecule, one nucleotide, with the hydroxyl attached to the third carbon of the pentose sugar of the other. So here, mRNA, it is a nucleic acid. So we can take uh, first answer as the correct answer. Triencyglycerol, it is not a nucleic acid. It, is, it comes under lipids. And phospholipid, also another type of lipid. NADP, NADP, it is not a nucleic acid, just a nucleotide. There are no phosphodiester bonds within a nucleotide. Phosphodiester bonds present between two or more, between nucleotides. I mean like between two nucleotides, but not within the same nucleotide. So NADP and ATP both are nucleotides, but they are not nucleic acids. So for the third question, the answer should be first answer. Then fourth question, that is from microscopes. So in, in, your, in, this, in our syllabus, we learn about uh, a simple microscope, that means hand lens, and under light microscope, compound light microscope, right? We learn about like, uh, yeah, we learn about compound uh, light microscope. And other than that, other than those two types, there are another type of microscopes called electron microscope. Anyway, magnification and resolution power are the two main parameters of a microscope. 
Now here in this question, what they ask, they ask which of the following IPs, objective lens combination, will allow one to see the largest number of cells within one microscope field from an epidermal peel of an onion. Here they, are, they ask about the uh, largest field of V. Largest field of V. Do you know magnification, it is equals to the magnification, the product of magnification power of eye lens and magnification power of objective lens. So lower the magnification power, the la uh, lower the um, lowers the magnification, lower the magnification power, it provides the largest field of V. Right? Largest field of V. Now, if we take these combinations, these products, 5 into 40 is 200. And next one, 500. Third one, 100. 400 and 1,000. So, where is the magnification is minimum? In the third answer. So, out of these given answers, magnification is minimum, right? It is smallest in this third answer. So, it will give the largest field of field, right? So, the answer should be third answer. Question number five. Incorrect about light reactions of anthophyta. Anthophyta means flowering plants. So here, splitting of water happens near the PS2. Yes, that's correct. And NADP plus oxidation happen near PS2, catalyzing with NADP plus reductase. No. Here it happens in the, it happens near the PS1, photosystem 1, not near the uh, PS2. Electron flow via electron carrier series. Yes. Electron transport chains there. Some carotenoids do pro photoprotection. Yeah. That is also correct. Chlorophyll saps of violet, blue, and red light. So here, for the fifth one, the incorrect answer is second answer. Second answer. Because like anthophytes, now if we take anthophytes, it includes both C3 and C4 plants. Here, excited electrons of PS1 at primary electron acceptor of PS1, it will pass through an electron transport chain and reduce NADP and etiad NADPH. And this reaction is catalyzed by NADP reductase. Anyway, the problem is it happens near PS1, not near the PS2. That's why the second uh, statement is incorrect. So fifth, for the fifth question, the answer should be second answer. Next one, question number six. Which will always happen in fermentation? Now, when we come to respiration, it is two types as aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration means respiration that happens in the presence of molecular oxygen. And anaerobic respiration means the respiration that happened in the absence of oxygen. So this fermentation also happened uh, in the absence of oxygen. And there are different forms. In the syllabus, we have to learn about ethyl alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. Now, look at the first statement. Now, here they're asking which will always happen. Acetaldehyde is produced as an intermediate product. Yes, acetaldehyde is produced as an intermediate product only in ethyl alcohol fermentation, but not in lactic acid fermentation. So we can't take first answer. Then decarboxylation. Decarboxylation means removing carbon dioxide molecules. This is also happening in uh, ethyl alcohol fermentation, but not in lactic acid. So it is not common to both. So we can't take that one either. Then pyruvate being the final hydrogen acceptor. Pyruvate, uh, it is the hi final hydrogen acceptor in, mm, no, pyruvate, it is not the final hydrogen acceptor. Now, if we take ethyl alcohol fermentation, the final hydrogen acceptor is acetaldehyde. And when we come to lactic acid fermentation, final hydrogen acceptor is lactic acid or lactate. 
It's not pyruvate. Answer number four, reducing using NADH. Yeah, that correct. Here they reduce using NADH and NADH uh, oxidizes into NAD+. Plus, right? And fifth one, ATP means spend and not produce. No, in each, uh, in both fermentation types, two ATP molecules will be produced. Two ATP molecules will be produced. So here the answer should be fourth answer, right? If you have any doubts, please uh, ask those questions in the chat, in the Zoom chat, or uh, even you can uh, send messages through the WhatsApp, right? Through the group. And the other thing is when you are doing uh, MCQ papers, here you have to re uh, write reviews, not only for the correct answer, right? But also the wrong answers. Why, why is this incorrect? Why can't we take this one? So you have to do the review like that, right? So if you do like that, at the end of paper, even though there are only 50 questions, you are going to learn or you are going to memorize more than like 200, around like 50 into, there are five answers for each question, 50 into five, 250 points. So always when you are doing a paper, doing an MCQ paper, you have to review, you have to write reviews also for these incorrect answers, not only for the correct answers, right? Now, for example, if we take fifth question, they're asking the incorrect statement, not right? Only one statement is incorrect here. But you have to study the other points also. Okay. Right. Question number seven. Which of the following basic feature is not shared by all living cells? There are uh, four basic features shared by all cells. It can be both, it is both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. All cells, they are bounded by plasma membrane. And the second thing, there is semi-solid cytosol within the fluid. Third one, they carry DNA as the genetic material. Right? Not RNA, it's DNA. DNA, they carry DNA as the genetic material. And the last one, ribosomes found in all cells. Now, if we take ribosomes, there are two types as 70s and 80s. Here, these 80s ribosomes, they are present only in eukaryotic cells. But 70s ribosomes present in both types, okay? In the both types of uh, cells. Now, look at the question. Plasma membrane, yes. But now here they are asking not shared. So not like it should not be. Now if you take plasma membrane, yes, it's present in both prokaryotic as well as eukaryotic cell. DNA, yes, it is the genetic material. 70s ribosome that are found freely in the cy on the cytoplasm, yes. That's also correct. Fifth one, cytosol. So the answer should be third answer. Third answer, ATP. Question number eight, which one of the following statement regarding coenzymes is incorrect? Coenzymes, what are coenzymes? Coenzyme means, what are coenzymes? Organic cofactors. Organic cofactors are called coenzymes. Right, here they are asking incorrect statement. Now, if we take coenzymes, anyway, like cofactors, coenzyme means organic cofactors. Now, cofactors, what are cofactors? They are non proteinous components which are essential for the catalytic activities of certain enzymes. Right, certain enzymes. Not all enzymes require these cofactors. Right, only some enzymes need cofactors or coenzymes. Now, look at the first statement. They are always needed for enzyme activity. That is incorrect. By the definition, you know, not all the enzymes require these cofactors for their activity, their enzymatic activity, right? And the second one, 
They are always organic compounds. They are always organic compounds. Yes, now here they are asking coenzymes. Coenzyme means organic cofactor. So they are always organic. But if they are given like, uh, what, is the incorrect, what is the statement regarding cofactors is incorrect? Then the second one is also incorrect because there are inorganic um, cations that act as cofactors. They could be temporarily bound to the enzyme molecule. Yes, they can be temporarily bound or temp permanently bound. Many coenzymes are vitamin so derived from vitamins. Yes, they are non-protein components. Yes. So for the eighth question, the answer should be first answer. So all those questions are given from the second chapter. Now, question number nine. Atmospheric conditions of the earth facilitate the abiotic synthesis of organic molecules was most probably occurred, right? So here, this statement it is given under biochemical evolution, right? So this occurred in 3.5 to 2.5 billion years ago. It should be ago, not go, right? That's a typing error, ago. Answer number four. Then, question number 10. Which one of the following Probably evolved first. Which one? What do you think? Glycolysis, Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, splitting of water, Calvin cycle. Yes. What do you think? Please send your answers. Uh, yes, others? What about others? Fourth one, splitting of water. What about others? Send your answers. Mm -hmm. Other three people? Now, if we go to the unit, yes, fourth one, splitting of water, right? Question For the question number 10, the answer should be uh, splitting of water, right? Question number 11, an animal has an irreversible pharynx and two eye spots. Which of the following characters will be present in the animal? Uh, please respond, right? Now, irreversible pharynx and two eye spots. Eye spots. These two features present in can be found in phylum platyhelminthes. Platyhelminthes. Segmentation, external fertilization, larval stage, respiratory system, and cilia. Again, cilia, these plat fly, the organisms of phylum platyhelminthes, right? Actually, free living platyhelminthes, they contain cilia for locomotion. For the 11th question, the answer should be fifth answer. Okay.
Then, question number 12. In Pogonatum, in Pogonata, uh, gametophyta monoecious, sporophyta dominant, spore are heterosporous, gametophytes have specialized pores called stomata, gametophyte can be found in dry terrestrials. Now they are asking the correct statement uh, about Pogonata. Uh, but anyway, all these statements are incorrect. Right? Gaminophyte. Here, the 10th question, did I tell you 4? No, it should be 1, right? Sorry, glycolysis. Glycolysis. should be glycolysis, not 4th one. should be glycolysis. Glycolysis is given in the first one. Right? Uh, in Pogonatum here, they are asking the correct statement. But anyway, all these statements are incorrect. Right? So you are getting all. Marks are given for all the answers. Gametophyte. If you take the gametophyte, it is dioecious. Why is it? What is the meaning of dioecious? There are two words, monoecious and dioecious. Dioecious means unisexual. Right? Unisexual. Gametophyte is dioecious. Then sporophytes are dominant. No, the spore, the la, dominant uh, one is the gametophyte. Spore are heterosporous. No, spores are homosporous. And fourth one, gametophytes have specialized spores called stomata. No, not gametophyte. Sporophytes have specialized spores called stomata. Then gametophytes can be found in dry terrestrials. No. These plants, they don't have even a vascular system. These gametophytes, they are found in moist terrestrial places, not in dry terrestrial places. So for the 12th question, right, all answers are correct. Because they, like here, there is no any correct answer. All. Question number 13. What color of light would be most effective in promoting stomatal opening? Stomatal opening is induced by uh, blue light photoreceptors and they absorb blue light. So the answer should be first answer. Then seekers, the structure of ovule which nourishes the developing embryo. Now in seekers, Mature female plant, excuse me. In Seekers, mature female plant produces a crown of megasporophylls. Right? Megasporangium it is enclosed in the protective layer called integument and it forms the ovule. Now, here they are asking. The structure of ovule which nourishes the developing embryo. Then integument, it has a small pore in the distal end of the ovule and it is called micropyle. And one of the cells in the megasporangial tissue differentiate into a single megaspore mother cell and undergoes meiosis and it forms four haploid megaspores. And from those four, only one become, one remain functional. The other three megaspores uh, mega, the other three megasporangial tissues, they function as nucellus and provide nourishment and provide nourishment. So here the answer should be second answer, nucellus. Then 15 question, what is the correct statement about phloem translocation? Right, phloem translocation, it happens through like uh, phloem translation occur through the phloem tissue of plants. Vascular tissue. There are two vascular two types of vascular tissues, xylem and phloem. Now, in the phloem translocation, the first step is transport or loading of sugars into sieving tube elements, sieve tube elements. Right? And it do not initiate, it, it, it do not always initiate from a storage tissue. Because the storage tissue it can be either source or a cell. 
and the other thing it is not unidirectional phloem translocation is bidirectional sinapsap right accent of sinapsap it is unidirectional then uh, and during phloem unloading right during unloading these sugar molecules they diffuse from phloem to the cell sugar molecules they diffuse but water water follows by osmosis right he, but here they ask in the third question they have given phloem sap moves from source to sink by diffusion as osmosis phloem sap moves by diffusion water is uh, water moves by osmosis so that is incorrect and fourth one is also incorrect Fifth one, transport you substances are mainly fructose and additional amino acids, minerals and hormones. Here, it is not fructose, it is sucrose. So, the fifth answer is also incorrect. So, for the 15th question, marks are given for the first answer, third answer, fourth answer and fifth answer. All those four uh, answers are incorrect. Right? Question number 16. Development of seeds without fertilization of sperm is, it is called, is it parthenogenesis or parthenocarpy? It is parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis means seed development without fertilization. Answer number three. Then question number 17. Gaseous exchange takes place in woody stems. Gaseous exchange can be takes place via a stomata. Then uh, also it can be takes place via lenticles. And the next one is transpiration through. Uh, it, can, it, it can be also occur through cuticles. Right? So the trans, transpiration that occur through stomata is called stomatal transpiration. And 95% of water in plant is lost through stomatal transpiration. And uh, up to some extent, transpiration occurs through cuticles and it is called cuticular transpiration. And the transpiration that occurs through lenticles is called lenticular transpiration. Right. The next question is, what are lenticles? Lenticles. Lenticles means they are like uh, small pores that present in the periderm, right? Which are formed by loosely arranged cork cells. They appear as horizontal slits, right? So in woody stems, transpiration occurs through lenticles. Answer number three. Question number 18. Cell division produces new cells near the basement membrane to regenerate epithelium rapidly they are like, like uh under epithelium tissue you learn about different types of epithelium tissues now if we take stratified squamous epithelium right it is the epithelium which covers our skin new cells produced near the basement membrane right new the cell division produce new cells near the basement membrane so Stratified squamous epithelium, it is present in buccal cavity or lining of the mouth, anus and vagina, right? Anus and vagina. So here, uh, they have not given anus or vagina. So we can take answer number two, buccal cavity, right? Cell division produce new cells near the basement membrane to regenerate the epithelium rapidly Now here the question number 17, right? They are asking gases exchange takes place in woody stems, in the stem, right? In the stem, woody stem. So woody stems, they are not green in color. So there are, uh, and there are no stomata. In the stem, transpiration occur through 
lenticles. So the answer should be first answer. Did I say second answer? For the 17th question, the answer should be first answer only with through lenticles. Transpiration can be takes place in three ways. Stomatal through the stomata, cuticles and lenticles. Right? But if we come to woody stems, transpiration takes place only with lenticles. Through the stem. Through the lenticles. So the answer should be first answer. Sorry. First answer. Lenticles. First one. Only with lenticles. Question number uh, yeah, 18. Eke mama hiti eh? Eta gota epithelium tissue. Api eti ka matak karu. There are main, like mainly we can, there are main, there are two general types according to the number of cell layers on the basement membrane, right? Uh, what are the two types? What are the two general types of epithelia? They can give an essay question from that one even. Explain about the epithelium tissue of a human. Yes, what are the two main types of epithelial tissue? Yes, very good. Simple and compound, right? That is that is based on the number of cell layers on the basement membrane. Now, if we take simple epithelia, simple epithelia, there is only single layer, right? And compound epithelia, there are several layers. Simple squamous, simple cuboidal, simple columnar, then uh, pseudostratified column epithelium, they all are examples for single uh, epithelia. And stratified squamous and transitional is exam they are they are the two examples for the compound epithelia. Now here, this uh, in this question they're asking about the stratified squamous epithelium. Stratified squamous epithelium, it is a compound epithelia, right? It composed of number of layers of cells, and this epithelium regenerates rapidly, right? If this uh, now if we take for example if we take our skin. Right? Skin, it is lined by this stratified squamous epithelium. You know, every day, dry cells, they are removed from our skin. So, they have to add a new cell layer every day. Right? So, new cells regenerate rapidly in this stratified squamous epithelium. And cell division produce new cells near the basement membrane. You can think about the Marriage cells, dyed cells. Dead cells, right? Are you with your death? Little angle of sport, I'll be him again. Like the Akatul Wadu, but then you couldn't with your animal. They dead cells, right? In a passe, uh, now new cells they are present near the basement membrane. These all cells they are slugged off and will be replaced by the new cells found in vagina, anus, and uh. Lining of mouth, right? Outer skin. Because in those, those places, they are subjected to abrasions. So here the answer should be a second answer for the 18th question. The next one, cholecystokinin, CCK. CCK. Now, if we come to CCK, there are two hormones, CCK. Then secretory. Now here they are asking about CCK, cholecystokine. It triggers the release of bile from the gallbladder. Right? It do not increase the bile production. Uh, it increases the sick release of, it triggers the release of bile from the gallbladder and also digest to enzymes from the pancreas. So here the answer should be the second answer. And when the food is rich in fat, this CCK and the other hormone secretin, this slows down the food digestion in the stomach. Right? They act on the stomach and inhibit the peristalsis and gastric juice secretion. So here the answer should be second answer. Question number 20. Correct combination regarding basic excretory structure and phylum which is a multicellular tubule and one end is open to the sea long while the other end is open to the outside. What is that structure? Now, in that lesson, they have, we, we learn about different types of excretory structures that, uh, that can be present in different animal phyla. Right? Uh, flame cells, then 
nephridia that feature in tubules, green glands or antenna glands, sweat glands, salt glands, kidneys, right? So what is this multicellular tubule and one end of the tubule is open to the coelom and the other end is open to the outside? What is that structure? What is that excretory structure? Is it flame cell, nephron or nephridia or malfeasant tubule? What is it? Send your answers quickly. <clears throat> Third one, nephridia. Yeah, nephridia. So nephridia is found in uh, phylum animals. Flame cells, flame cells are the flat worms in platyhelminthus, right? Uh, flame cells, they are specialized excretory cells. It's connected to a network of tubules which open to the outside of the animal. And malfunction tubules are found in insects and other uh, terrestrial arthropods. It is said that they are extensive blind and tubules immersed in the hemolymph and open to the digestive system. Green glands, green glands are not found in arthropods. Green glands are found in crustaceans like crows, right? They are two large glands that are found ventrally in the head and anterior to the esophagus. So here the answer should be third answer. Question number 21. When the oxygen level in the blood is too low, right? Kidney release erythropoietin, the liver produce more bile, then uh, the thymus produce more red blood cells, seeker cell disease occur, pancreas secrete more glucagon. Now, when the oxygen level in the blood is too low, red blood cells, they are structured. Normally, they are biconvex, right? They're biconvex shape. It will be disordered, right? And it can cause sickle cell disease, right? It can cause sickle cell disease. Question up for the question number 21, the answer should be fourth answer. Then 22, it is from the blood groups. Yes. <coughs> blood groups, mainly there are four group, uh, blood groups based on the antigen and antibody as yes, A, B, A, B, and O. Right? Now here, antibody B. Antibody B is there. Then antibody B is there means no, like uh, only having RH antigen and only having antibody B, not both uh, antibody B and A. Since it has antibody B, right, the blood group is B, capital B. Then RH, rhesus factor, it has an that antigen. When that uh, rhesus factor is there, we take it as positive, RH positive. If it is absent, we take it as negative. So here it should be B positive, B positive. For the 22nd question, the answer should be third answer. Question number three, peristalsis occur in the human alimentary canal. What is peristalsis? Peristaltic is a wave of right, rhythmic waves, right? Does it happen in skeletal muscles or smooth muscles? Peristalsis? Smooth muscles for the very skeletal muscles for the peristalsis. It is an alternative wave of rhythmic contractions and relaxation of the longitudinal and circular smooth muscles. Right. So the answer should be here. Second answer from the esophagus to the rectum. Right, not in both, right? Not in skeletal muscles, in the smooth muscles. Now, my down, if we take pharynx, right, the upper part of the esophagus, they are made up of skeletal muscles. Dermatica. 
to get a here, we have to take this, uh, take the second answer. So, esophagus is a rectum, they have a peristalsis, but no peristalsis in the mouth. Right? Then, then question number, for the question number 23, the answer should be to a second answer. 24. Which one of the facial bones of the human skull in which sinuses can be seen? What are sinuses? Sinuses are air-filled cavities lined by ciliated mucous membrane. Right? Ciliated mucous membrane. These sinuses, they are present in the sphenoid, ethmoid, maxillary and frontal bones. bones. Now, they have given all those four uh, answers in the 25th uh, as answers. But the thing is, they are asking which one of the facial bones. Now, if we take the skull, there are two types of bones, cranial and facial bones. So, the answer should be, uh, here we can take either one or four, maxillary bone or frontal bone. You know, frontal bone, it is common to both, right? It's a facial, it can be taken as facial bone as well as a cranial bone. So, one or four. Four. Give marks for one more four. Right? Then, question number 25. Which of the following bonds in the... No, we can't take a... No, yeah. Which one of the following bonds... In the human skull, uh, contributes least to the resonance of vo voice. So one function of sinuses is it uh, it produce or it uh, resonance of voice. Now here least contribute means there should be no any sinuses in that bone. Now I told you sphenoid, ethmoid, maxillary, and frontal bones they have. Uh, these uh, sinuses, but parietals they don't have, so they they provide the least contribution for the resonance of resonance of uh, voice. What is this question? Spinoid, ethmoid, both have no, no ethmoid, ethmoid. It is present in the cranium. Cranium may get in a bone stick another. Uh, now, now, if we take like a human skeletal system, we can divide it into two as axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Now, say axial, axial, axial skeleton and get in a bones mono on the skull, vertebral column, ribs, and sternum. Now, when we take the skull, right, skull it is consist of 21 bones. And the bones we see a cup here. It is divided into those 21 bones are divided into the cranium. Cranium means the brain case and the face. Face can be facial bone sticker. So the bones in the cranium, in the cranium there are eight bones. Number one, cranium bones. Number one, frontal bone. Then frontal bones, then there are two parietal bones. Parietal bones, they come the other one. Occipital bone. Eco occipital bone, they come the other Then temporal bones, there are two. And ethmoid bone and the sphenoid bone. By the sphenoid, ethmoid, they belong to the brain case, not for the facial bone. They don't uh, come under facial bones. So there are eight bones belong to the cranium. Then what are the bones included in the facial part? Frontal bone, right? It's a bones that are right. Frontal bone, they are the common common frontal and there are 13 other. Liagana. Two zygomatic bones. Zygomatic means the cheek bones. Then the maxilla. Maxillary bone means the upper jaw. Then, then uh, we have... Uh, Mandible. Mandible means the lower jaw. Jaw. Yata hakua. Then uh, 
Next one, two inferior concave, two nasal bones, two lacry lacrimal bones, the warmer, two palatine bones, right? So those are the 13, 14 bones that present in the fascia, right? Now in this question, they are asking about the facial bones in the human neck skull, right? Which contribute, uh, which contain sinuses. We know maxillary bone, ethmoid bone, sphenoid and frontal. They have sinuses. Out of them, only maxillary bone and frontal bone belongs to the facial bones. So the answer should be one or four. What are the? What are the? SP23105. Right? I can't remember the name. Terunada? Right. Question number 25. They are asking which bone contribute least to the resonance of voice. So this is done by sinuses. Right? Sinuses. What, are the other, what is the other function? Their uh, sinuses, they also reduce the weight of the skull, right? It's weight of the skull. Now, least uh, contribution means now the sinuses na nge, resonance hadan de, sinuses na te ekkena dama least contribution nge. You know, parietals, right? Parietals. Answer number two. Eat a pasta kao the tau prashne ak kahala deep ne, misune prashne bala. Uh, 20 second the answer to for the 20 seconds still right 20 second ah blood groups one yes but grouping of blood now you know the surface rbc cells in their surface they carry antigens those antigens, they are called agglut agglutinogen, right? Antigen A, antigen B, here here are the, it is plasma, in the plasma, RBS, RBC, in the RBC, they have antigen, and in the plasma, they have antibodies. Antibody, antibodies, they call it, anti A and anti B. Here are the, in a person, then Khatahari. For example, if someone has antigen A on the red blood cell membrane, right? Then Yagava antigen nega with it A the anavana, Yagava antibody A net, Yagava in antibody B. Are the ah, here? I took here B, no? Sorry. So antibody B, ne? it should contain A positive. The answer should be second answer. Ahagana. Antigen A Tiyanavana or B C A K plus my K antibody B T A K. Antigen B Tiyanavana A Gavati antibody A. Hari the Ida Pase antigen decabatiyanavana. Again A B decabatiyanavana Yagava antibodies. Neh. Antigen decabatiyanavana Yagava plus my K antibodies. Jati decabatiyanavana. Hari the in a method antibody B in the end, Hiram Yaga antigen A the end, so it, 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 it belongs to blood group A, right? Not B, it's blood group A. Monkey with third answer, can it should be second answer. In RH antigen, what is this RH antigen? RH can move the recess factor, right? Some, some individuals they have this antigen. Rhesus factor in the plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is the rhesus factor. In. The word antigen is the RBC. Plasma is the antibody. Plasma membrane is the rhesus factor. Right? If there is rhesus factor, if the rhesus factor is present, we take it as RH positive. If it is absent, we take as RH negative. The word is A positive. B positive, B negative, O negative, O positive, and the other recess factor the other and the genic matter. Now, here they it, that person he have RH antigen, so it is positive and antibody B, not the any other thing, antigen A, a hindaya, a positive. For this 22nd question, the answer should be second answer. Sorry, my mistake. I told uh, the answers should be three, one with B positive, it should be A positive, right? Any doubts?
Then, question number 26. Which of the following is the optimum temperature for the production of sperms in man? Now, if we take, what is the normal body temperature? What is the normal body temperature? The same answer is given two times in both first answer and fourth answer. They have given 35. Yes, 37 is the, uh, the normal body temperature. Now, to produce fertile sperms, right? The temperature of the testes should be lower than the core body temperature, right? So, they are present. Uh, yeah, so these sperms are produced only when these testes, they are cooler than the rest of the body, right? So, the, that's why these testes, they are found in the scrotum, right? It allows the testes to maintain its temperature 2 degrees Celsius below the core temp body temperature. If the core body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and in the resource book they have given, right, the presence of these testes in the scrotum maintain 2 degrees below the core body temperature, right? When we, when we subtract 2 from 37, the, uh, the optimum temperature of production of sperm should be 35. Up in the core body temperature 37 now. Resource book up in the deal of the end Scroll test is secretary 2 degrees Celsius. Adu and Nang eat a vada. Again, the Kaduga Hamithing optimum temperature. How many when sperms produce? Like a 35 degrees Celsius. Right? There another. Then, correction number 27 that is from the nervous system. Right? Now, if it, they have given the parts of the brain, human brain, and uh, we have to find which response is correct. I mean, they have given the uh, part of the human brain and the function. Regulate appetite. Thalamus, no. Regulation of appetite is done by who? By the hypothalamus, not by the thalamus. Then control involuntary reflexes that is done by medulla oblongata. Controls involuntary reflexes that is done by medulla oblongata. Auditory and visual perception that is done by cerebrum, not by the midbrain. Initiate and control of skeletal muscle contraction. Right? Yes, that is correct. Fourth one is correct. And last one, coordinate large-scale body movement, not by the cerebrum. That is done by Pons Veroli. The answer should be fourth answer. <laughs> the next one, question number 28. Right? In human females, peaks in FSH and LH production occur at the end of the follicular phase. As it should be fourth answer, right? In the 21 uh, exam, uh, strength the structure, they say they ask, uh, ask to draw these two graphs. I, I can't remember whether it is two or one. Anyway, they asked to draw one graph, right? So you have to remember the shape of the graph and uh, you, you should be able to label those things, right? 29. Select the number of bones in the human adult whose both hands are removed below the shoulder joint by a surgery. What, how, how many bones in the uh, in a human adult? How many bones are there? Total number of bones in the skeleton? 206. Very good. 206. Right. Now they have removed the both hands below the shoulder joint. Shoulder joint again, Pahala? Again, it's some poor name. In an uh, arm solid, upper arm solid, upper limb solid bones, key a can other. Key a can other. I'm gonna know that. Yeah. 30 into 2. At the come, I'm gonna know Both hands. So 60. It's 206 minus 60. That is 146. 146 is the answer. Answer number 4. And the. <coughs> uh, 
karede. Then next one. Incorrect statement regarding skeletal muscles. Consist of multinucleated long cells. Yes, they are cylindrical long, multinucleated long cells. Right? Then uh, striated. Yes, they are striations. Attached to the skeletal system and mainly cause voluntary body movements. Right? Voluntary. They are not involuntary. Right? Fourth one. Only shows irritability, contractility and elasticity. No. Right? They show excitability. Right? Extensibility also. So there are five things. They show excitability, irritability, contractility, extensibility and elasticity. So the answer should be fourth answer. Incorrect statement. Right? Question number 31. On which of the following the pregnancy test is based on? Pregnancy test is based on HCG, right? HCG. Human chorionic gonadotrophy, right? This is also known as pregnant, like uh, HCG test is known as pregnancy test. Both answer. Question number 32, it is regarding blood clotting. Are the now, you know, like 38% uh, of this. Now, if we take like for the, for the bio paper, you are getting 100. Ne? From that 100, th you are getting around 38 to 40, right? That kind of percentage, that amount of marks for the fifth unit. Fifth unit again, it's a good thing. It is a second unit, teke. fourth unit and microbiology. Unit 5, that's a unit 2, unit 4, plant form and function. And the next one is my microbiology, right? Microbiology. Then uh, here, choose the incorrect statement regarding blood clotting. What is blood clotting? What is the use of blood clotting? Any blood clotting here like a cone. Right? What are clotting factors? Send your answers in the chat. What is blood clotting? Yes, send your answers. Huh? When, when is this blood clotting happen, right? You know, when a tissue is damaged, right? No. Gangita no like kapulak tu alu na mukudu venne. Blood flow venne vane. Digata ma blood flow venne yat mukudu venne. Eka digata eka digata ma blood flow no. Yange dina leti kakko ma gila mare na. Neither. Right? So there should be a mechanism to prevent that. Okay? So when a tissue is damaged, this blood blood flows from it and it co coagulates to form a blood clot. And it prevents further loss of blood and entry of pathogens, pathogenic microorganism uh, into the body. So there, there should be, there are no any blood clotting takes place in undamaged vessels. Damaged vessels are blood clot. They can lead up. Right? Or a brain ne blood clot pe laadi ano. Or hehe hehe laadi ano. Mehe me laadi ano. Hehe kigala lide kya ne? Right? Damaged vessel hehe ka vitara hai blood clot pe no. Damaged nathi undamaged vessel hehe kuno they can disease ka. Right. So here look at the first statement. Platelets in the blood adhere to the collagen fiber in the connective tissue. Yes. Right. Uh, blood clotting, it is a highly complex series of reactions. Those the words are given in the resource book, right? Highly complex series of reactions 
that takes place in order for coagulation to occur well as well as prevent unwanted clotting. Now, what happened here is when a blood vessel is damaged, right, the connective tissues of the vessel wall is exposed. So, platelets in the blood, you know, there are RBCs and uh, platelets and WBCs, the blood cells. So, platelets in the blood adhere to the collagen fibers in the connective tissue and release substances which make close by platelets sticky. Then plate, this platelet plug provides instant protection against these blood loss, blood uh, loss and uh, entry of pathogenic microorganism. These platelets, they release something called clotting factors. Clotting factors. These clotting factors, they trigger the formation of thrombin, right? Thrombin convert fibrinogen to fibrin, right? Thrombin convert fibrin to fibrin, uh, fibrinogen to fibrin. Next, that fibrin aggregates into threads and form a network of the clot, right? Activated thrombin, it also involves in formation of more thrombin, right? Which completes the formation of blood clot, right? Uh, clotting factors, so clotting factors secreted from platelets, damage cells as well as from the plasma. Right? Now here look at this question. Platelets in the blood adhere to the collagen fibers in the connective tissue. Yes. Activated fibrin is also convert fibrinogen to fibrin. No, that is done by who? By thrombin, not by fib fibrin. Right? Thrombin convert fibrinogen to fibrin. So here the answer should be second answer. Now then look at the fourth one. Calcium and phylloquinone. Ek how they? Phylloquinone. It is vitamin K. Vitamin K one valer thamai phylloquinone ki ani, right? The plasma valer thino calcium and vitamin K, right? Ekali ani phylloquinone ki ani vitamin K one vitamin K valer. Ego te ya clotting factor ka thama. Answer should be second answer. Question number 33. Which of the following is an educational or scientific value of biodiversity? Regulating climate, recharging groundwater, water purification, prevention of soil erosion. All those are comes under environmental service value. Right? Answer should be the fifth answer. Health in disaster management, that is the scientific or educational value of biodiversity. Question number 34, mycoplasma. Mycoplasma, they belongs to molecules. There are two types of molecules. Molecules are belongs to, they are prokaryotes, belong to the, belongs to bacteria, but they are unique because they, they don't have a cell wall. Since they don't have a cell wall, they are small in structure. Right? And uh, so since they are very small, they are electron microscopic. Electron microscopic in the mind. Normally, we can observe micro bacteria from the microscope. Even though these molecules, they belong to the same group bacteria, they are not uh, light microscopic. Electron microscopic because why they are very small. Why they are very small? Because they don't have a cell wall. Cell wall is not in the back. Right? Here is the Cannot grow in artificial media. Now, there are two types phytoplasma and molecoplasma. In the resource book, they have directly given that we can't. Uh, grow phytoplasma in, in artificial media. Third one, can be seen under the light microscope? No, they are electron microscopic. Almost all parasites of humans and, and plants? No. Mycoplasma are almost all parasites of human and animals, not plants. Do not possess any metabolic activity? No, no. Right? They belong to prokaryotes, so they, they show metabolic activities. That should be first answer for the 34th question. 
Then 35, intergenic DNA is known as, intergenic DNA is known as a transcript exon, the DNA segment without an identified function operons pre-mRNA. This is from the seventh unit, molecular biology. The answer should be third answer, right? Third answer. And intergenic DNA is a DNA segment that present in between genes which have no identified function. Metagenomics, that is also from the seventh unit, includes the study of specialized STRs. No. Metagenomics, right? Metagenomics means it is a science in which DNA present in an environment is extracted as community DNA, uh, studying that sample as a whole, right? Then sequence is some specific sequences in the community DNA and analyzing using suitable software which reveal the number of different species and their identity. Right? So the answer should be third answer. 37. That is from 8th unit environmental biology. Which one of the following? IUCN category in Sri Lanka has the highest risk of becoming extinct in the near future. Now, the thing is this. If you haven't studied molecular biology, right? You have only like uh, seven or six weeks remaining, right? You don't go to go and study like molecular biology, right? You can concentrate about the rest, the other units, right? You can like uh, practice more and more unit five because 38 percent marks are given uh, uh, are allocated for that unit. Then animal form and function, plant form and function, unit uh, two, unit three, right? Then uh, microbiology, environmental biology, and if you have time, you can study applied biology also. Now don't go and try to study molecular. If you haven't done it, Tabu Kalan and Tangika Karanda, then Boru Nastikar the Villa, eh? Aratiko the Padangala questions Karanda, right? Yeah, it's okay, right? Molecule on and drop Karan, making MCQ Tigaga Hagan and Nikang Kiuha Methi. Being essentially anything ready in a tongue in them, Boru to last in your nepa, right? Villa Nastavan, now you have only six or seven weeks remaining. Practice more and more questions from the other units, not from the seventh unit. Ona nikan kia vagana, MC Gilberta. Ani tevan kundu to practice kara. Heru nan. You have to practice more and more questions. That is the structure. This is SSS, MCQs, Kulwan daran karan na yoni. Buruta theory kodaval gahagana nemi. Right? Which one of the following IUCN categories in Sri Lanka has the highest risk of becoming extinct in near future? Critically endangered, right? Marble rock frog, frog is the answer, second one. Marble rock frog. Question number 38. Which of the above found in the dry zone of Sri Lanka? Right? Uh, dry zone get the end of the Tropical dry mixed evergreen forest. Then look at the end of environmental biology. Well, the end of graph, maybe table. In 2000, as I remember, 2019, they asked about Patana, right? Wet Patana and dry Patana. In table, like a part of the end 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 of the Tropical dry mixed evergreen forest. And sand dunes are found in the dry zone of Sri Lanka. So the answer should be second answer. 39. Which one of the following genetic disorder caused by monosomy? Right? Monosomy. So then go ever again. MCQ take it again. No, go at the first chapter. Okay. For the 32, the answer should be second answer. Incorrect statement. Right? Second answer. May wake me monosomy blood pulwang molecule like mutations part of yoga. Does a multi at the end, 
अरे डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी ना तो मल्टी का कियोगे नहीं देख अब तेरे ना अरे आंटी बेटी का तो मैं गलत फाड़ आंकरा ना आबाद हो मल्टी का कियोगे ना एमसीक्यू वर्ड अगर आने मोनोसोमी ट्राइसोमी ये वाकी मोनोवाद किया था हाँ ये तो राइट मोनोसोमी मोनोसोमी मींस दिस मोनोसोमिक सेल प्रोड्यूस व्हेन अ गैमेट विथ वन लेस क्रोमोसोम नॉर्मली राइट टू एन क्रोमोसोम्स दे रहा है ना टू एन माइनस वन दे रहा है गैमेट टेका क्या दिला था वो टू एन गैमेट टेका के क उंड Answer number four. Reverse transcriptase. Like now, tell me how many marks you got out of forty. Right? That Google forming it. Your answer somehow to vary. Did you hear it? One of the body body errors. You know. We'll try to avoid those things. Right? Now, tell me how many marks you got out of forty. Quickly, please send with your name because I can't remember the index numbers. Fatima, which Fatima? What a Fatima, the way. Fatima, la good up, Kina. Okay. Twenty four. Fourteen. Who's, uh, please send me the name. One zero five. Who is one zero five? Send your name. Okay, okay. Then Aisha, how many marks? Yes, one zero five. Okay, may please send me a message after the class. Right, Aisha. Marks. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, right. Me not enough. Hurry then. Oh, my malaku no madi. Papers karala eva. You have to write reviews. You have to review the paper. Or there are like eight papers in this series, right? Other than these eight, you can review. Like you can practice two thousand nineteen paper twenty twenty one. In twenty two, हरे द टाइम में कितनी बहुत मां क्लास है के एम कराना है ना पहले में दाला हरी ये तो बड़े मित्र नाटा यार हाथराय पेपर्स दोला हा एटी को होंदे तो मेटी के प्रैक्टिस कराना हरे द ओके आह नाउ फोर्टी वन टू फिफ्टी 
A, B, C, D questions. 41. Select the molecule or molecules produced during photosynthetic pathways. Now, acetyl CoA, Eva in the respiratory pathway. Acetaldehyde in which one? In ethyl alcohol fermentation. And NAD plus is also present in the respiratory pathway. So, C and D are the answers. Question number 41. The answer should be fourth answer. 42. Which of the following is or are the functions of connective tissues? Connective tissues, there are three main functions given in the textbook, not three, four. Binding and structural support, protection, transport of materials, insulation. This absorption, it is done by who? By epithelial tissues mainly. So for the 42, the answer should be... Uh, only A, B, D, correct. A, B, D. Answer should be first answer. 43. Which of the following organ or gland secrete, secretes hormones which directly act on skeletal muscle? Now, if we take pancreas, it will release insulin and glucagon from uh, alpha and beta cells of pancreatic islands. Those two hormones... The major target site, main target sites of those two hormones are liver cells and skeletal muscle cells. So we can take A, pancreas. And then B, you know, kidney release erythropoietin hormone, right? Which act on bone marrows. A and B are the correct two other uh, answers. A and B, answer number three. 44, correct statement or statements regarding animal nutrition. There are five main steps in animal nutrition. Yes, there are five. Tongue doesn't help to push the bolus into the oral cavity. No. Tongue do that, right? Cow and crane is an example for commensalism. Yes. Elimination is the process which passes out undigested materials from the alimentary canal. Yes. E-mechanical digestion could be done with teeth and peristalsis. In peristalsis, mechanical digestion could be done with teeth and peristalsis. Digestion is two types as mechanical and chemical digestion. Uh, in the uh, By teeth, like in the mechanical digestion, the large molecules are break down into small molecules. So both tongue and teeth involve in that, right? That is incorrect. Right, not peristalsis actually. So the answer should be uh, second answer A, C, D. Only A, C, D correct. 45. Which of the following hormones act only as only as trophic hormone? Only as trophic. Trophic hormones means they are released from a uh, from a gland. Right? The target site is also another gland. Right? Uh, here, uh, TCH, ACTH, FSH, LH are trophic hormone. GH or growth hormone, it acts as a trophic hormone as well as non trophic hormone. Right? But here they're asking act only as trophic hormone. So FSH and LH, CD, answer number four. Answer number four. Functions of gibberellin are, right? What are the functions of gibberellin? Gibberellin stimulates cell elongation, stimulate pollen development, then stimulate pollen tube growth, stimulate fruit growth, stimulate uh, seed development and germination, then uh, regulate sex determination and transition from juvenile to adult phase. Right, uh, so here the answer should be first answer. A, B, D, correct. Then question number 47. Select the correct statement regarding mutation of human. Again, this is from molecular biology mutation part. Now, Down syndrome it is known as trisomy 21. 
राइट ट्वेंटी वन के ना क्रोमोसोम पे आएगा तो हमारे ट्राइसोमी कंडीशन निकाल दिए ना एल्बेनिसम इस रिसेसिव म्यूटेशन सेक्स हार्मोन नो ये द आंसर शुड बी फोर्थ आंसर सी एंड डी फोर्टी एट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल रेन फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट इस ओ आ कंटिन्यूस कैनोपी पुअली ग्राउंड ग्राउंड लेयर स्टेम्स विथ द रॉक बाग Soil with poor minerals contains distinct rainy and drought season. Here we can take uh, A, C, D. Answer number one. Which of the following mi microorganisms are able to carry out anaerobic respiration, Saccharomyces yeast, at Clostridia? Answer number four. Intra in industries based on metabolic end products of microorganism. So our basic principles have to be there. So we have to think about the metabolic end products. Here, if we have a microbiology lesson, what do we do? A and B are correct. Production of single cell. Uh, no, A and B production of alcoholic beverages, production of lactic acid, right? Uh, answer should be third answer. Right now, tell me how many marks you got out of fifty. Quickly, tell your marks with the name. You should score at least thirty-five to get good to go for a good B O A pass. Are you there? Second part, take on the take out this. Namayak hatris gana ti this namayak wageti bot ay ehi kete ano kuluan. Eta madi. Now you know in biology it is very difficult to score marks from the structured essay. We can score mark easily from MCQ and the essay part. How did that? Even the mark you score can only the in the on the MCQ can only structured essay should be only how did that? Uh, essay practice can only. Others. Question number five. Uh, question number five. Answer should be second answer. And uh, for ninth one, first one, I think. I can't remember. First one. And for the 25th one, the answer should be two. And uh, 44, answer should be two. Second answer. One zero five marks. Don't waste time. Send your marks. Right. Okay. Double one three. You can improve, right? This is good. Uh huh. Right. Now you can take a five minute break and join again at uh, now join at ten forty again. Right, ten forty. Don't leave. You can take an interval now, ten minutes. <laughs>
Right. Exam target special paper two, part two discussion. Part A, structure design. Question number one. Now, in the structure design, you have to answer all the questions on the paper itself, right? You can't attach uh, papers, right? Any other papers. You have to write the answers in the given space. Now, look at the first question, part A, Roman number one. What is the stage of the cell cycle shown in the diagram? Now, here you can see a cell, right? What is that uh, um, circular shape thing in the center of the cell? It is the nucleus. And inside the nucleus, nucleolus present. And Y is the outer membrane of that. It is the nucleo, uh, nuclear membrane, right? Nuclear membrane. And the other thing is uh, for the 11th question, right? We can take a larval stage also in the MCQ1, right? Yes. Right. Here, what is the stage of the cell cycle shown in the diagram? Now, here there is only one nucleus, right? There are no two nuclei, right? Only one is there. And the nuclear membrane, it's not fragmented. Not new, there are not two nucleus, there are only one. And the nuclear membrane is not fragmented, right? So here it should be, it should be the interface, it should be the interface of the cell cycle. Give one mark. Then, Roman number two, name the major groups of organic compounds found in X and Y structure in the diagram. Here, X should be nucleolus. Nucleolus, it is made up of proteins. Proteins. Then, Y, that is the nuclear membrane, it is made up of proteins and lipids. Roman, uh, give two marks. Roman number three, state functions of X and Y. X, this nucleolus, so the function is synthesize RRNA and ribosomal subunits required for protein synthesis, right? That is the function of nucleolus. Synthesize RRNA and ribosomal subunits required for protein synthesis, one mark. Why? Regulate entry and exit of materials between cytoplasm and nucleoplasm, right? It regulates the exchange of materials between the cytoplasm and nucleoplasm. One mark. Roman number four. State the stage of a eukaryotic cell cycle of where the following events takes place. Part A, condensation of chromatin. Condensation of chromatin takes place in the prophase. One mark. Then replication of DNA takes place in the S phase or so synthetic phase of interphase. C, duplication of mitochondria. Duplication of mitochondria takes place in the G2 phase. Second gap phase. One mark. Roman number five, part A, right? You have to put the marks because I'm going, I, I need to know your marks, right? Part A, uh, name two types of chromatin found in the eukaryotic cell. Euchromatin and heterochromatin. Part B, state one functional difference between those two types. Euchromatin genes are probably Active in transcription, but heterochromatin are inactive. One mark. Then, next part, look at the next question. They have given some figures, right? Um, the diagrams of organisms belongs to kingdom protista. Select and write the corresponding letters or letter relevant to the following characteristics. Part A, organism found only in, only in marine habitat. Now, if we take uh, first one A, who is that? 
It's a green algae, right? It's a green algae. B, amoeba. C, paramecia. C, uh, D, who is D? D, can you count? D, can you count? Now, A is a green algae. D, it is, uh, we can take, uh, looks like a Galidia. No, Sargasa. It's got Sargasa. It should be Sargasa. Brown algae, can it? E, Euglena. And uh, F is the, what is it? It's the diatom. Yes. And uh, last one, that is Galidium. Galidium is a uh, red algae. Okay. Part A, organism found only in marine habitat. Say, now how the A, D, G. B, organism having silica in their cell wall. Card the thing, the diatoms for it. F, 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 diatom. Organism having contractile valid vacuole. B, C, E. Then organism having pellicle. C and E. Organism having eye spot. E. Right? One mark for each correct answer. Give the marks out of 10. Name the kingdom in which a classification to which prokaryotes included. Monera. Monera. One mark. Roman number three, organize the following taxa according to the increasing number of common characters of organisms and state the level of each taxa. Amphibia, Animalia, Ichthyophis, Eukarya, Chordata. What is the current sequence of increasing common number, common characteristics of organism, right? Eukarya, Vadi, Langata, Pahalata, Eukarya, Animalia, Chordata, Amphibia, Ichthyophis. Right? Eukarya, what is the taxon? Domain. Animalia, Kingdom. Chordata, Phylum. Amphibia, Class. Ichthyophis, Genus. Right? Ichthyophis. Genus. Fourth one, name an animal phylum which includes animal with following characteristics. Possess only the endoskeleton. A kind of a meta. Possess only the exoskeleton. Arthropoda. Locomotion by suckers and a leader. Three marks. For the previous one, uh, for writing the correct sequence of increasing common characteristics of organism, one mark. And for writing the correct taxon, give five marks. Right? Five marks. Then, state three characteristic features seen in the life cycle of kingdom planting. Kingdom planting. Presence of alteration of generation. Multicellular gametangia, dependent embryo, then uh, wall spores produced in sporangia. You have to write any three, right? Give three marks. Then Roman number two, state three terrestrial adaptations achieved by the life cycle of flowering plants compared to the life cycle of seekers. Formation of pollen tube. Then formation of flower. Double fertilization. 
Seeds are enclosed in fruits. Those are the adaptations shown by seekers for the terrestrial life. Any three answers uh, give three marks. Correct answers give three marks. Then, Roman number three, state the major types of stress faced by mangrove plants and state an adaptation of these plants for the above stress. Type of stress is salt stress. Give one mark. Adaptation is presence of salt glands to excrete excess salt out of the plant across the leaf surface. One mark. Roman number four, state the correct order of secondary tissues belong to the bark of a woody stem. Secondary phloem, put an arrowhead. Cork cambium, then cork, one mark. Secondary phloem, cork cambium, cork. Right, secondary tissue sticker, which belongs to the bark of the woody stem. Then, next question. What are plant growth substances? Signing, uh, signaling molecules, which are produced in small quantities, get transported from the place they are produced to other parts of the organism and trigger the responses in target cells or an effect on plant growth and development. Right? Again, signaling molecules, which are produced in small quantities, get transported from the place they are produced to other parts of the organism and trigger the responses in target cells or an effect on plant growth and development. Two marks. Part B, name a plant growth substance which is responsible for Trophic movements of plant. Oxy. One mark. Oxy. Right. Now tell me how many marks you got out of 100. Quickly. Next week onwards, we will try to mark your papers before the discussion, right? So try to try, uh, answer the papers in like the, in the first or second sessions, right? If you have a paper, you can discuss it in the discussion. Mark 11. Tell me your marks, how many marks you got out of 100, quickly. Aisha, Fatima, Rishad, Rashida, Nimash, Nimshi. Sorry. Okay. Aisha. Others? Mm -hmm. Binat. Very good. You mean about marks, right? Point means marks. No, it's not given in the... Those things are mark, given in the marking scheme, right? Okay. Very good, Binat. You can... Um... Very good, right? 
do more and more papers. And the others also have to do the papers. Uh, right. Question number A, part A. Given below is the structure of dicotyledonous leaf. What is saying? Now, in 2019, there was an essay question to describe the structure of dicotyledonous leaf. 35, right? How the myth in a me? Double one three, who is that? I can't remember the name. Wasima. Very good. Right. A is upper epidermis, ne? Upper epidermis. B, palisade parenchyma cells. C, air spaces or intercellular spaces. D, spongy mesophyll cells. E, lower epidermis. And F is tomato. Give six marks. Six marks. One for each correct answer. Write down structural difference between B and D. Ah, but structural difference. Then exam again the other day. When you read the question, please highlight those important words. Functional or structural. Now here they're asking about the structural. What is B? Palisade. C is uh, D spongy. Palisade misophys and spongy misophys. Now structure got the palisade are elongated cells, right? Elongated, but spongy, circular, spherical shape. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, in palisade, there are more chloroplast, but spongy, less chloroplast present, right? Give one mark. Write down the letter of the diagram that significantly contributes to transpiration. F, one mark, F. Then, what is transpiration? Removal of water from leaves and other aerial parts of the plant body as water vapor by diffusion. You have to mention all these things. This is the definition. Removal of water from leaves and other aerial parts of the plant body as water vapor by diffusion is called transpiration. Transpiration. One mark. Then, write down the steps you follow to prepare photometer to measure transpiration Rate, right? It's not photometer, it should be photometer, no H, right? First one, clear gun. Fill the photometer with water. Hama, close the tap of the photometer when it is completely filled. Second one, bend a branch of a plant into water. Cut the branch. Underwater. Next one. Do not take branch out of water. Next one. Remove the stopper from the photometer. Okay. Fix the shoot to the photometer underwater. Next one. Till the end of the photometer into water. Plug the stopper to photometer under water and take the photometer out of water. Apply Vaseline on the stopper to make it airtight. Next on, insert the other end of the photometer in water. Open the tap of it and remove air bubbles. Lift the free end of the photometer and allow an air bubble to enter into the capillary tube. Fix the photometer to keep capillary tube horizontally. There are 12 points, right? Half marks for each one. Total mark 6. Right. Another, shall we move to the next one?
Part B, Roman number one, part A. Write down one common structural feature of cardiac muscle cell and skeletal muscle cell. Sarcomere present, presence of striation, striation, striations, one mark. Name main cell types of nervous tissue, neurons and glial cells, two marks. Next one, what is meant by symbiosis? Symbiosis is an ecological relationship in which two species live in close contact with each other. Symbiosis is an ecological relationship in which two species live in close contact with each other. One mark. B. Mutualism. What is symbiotic relationship is present between coralloid roots of seekers and anabena. Right? We discussed this question in the microbiology lesson. Right? That is a mutualism. One mark. What are the proteolytic enzymes found in pancreatic juice? Trypsinogen and chymotrypsinogen. Trypsinogen and chymotrypsinogen. Two marks. Roman number four. Write down two reasons for evolving circulatory system in animals. Ah. As organisms increase in size and complexity, the amount of materials moving in and out of the body increases. Right? Therefore, as a result of that, uh, therefore, diffusion is not sufficient to transport materials throughout the body. So, as a result of that, this circular system in, in, uh, evolves. If not, you can write the distance that materials have to be transported within the body increased. Or many cells are not in direct contact with their external environment. Or high energy requirements of organisms. Give two marks for two, any two correct answers. Next one. Part Roman number five, part 10. Name the main steps in human cardiac cycle. There are three steps. Atrial systole. Ventricular systole, complete cardiac diastole. Atrial systole, ventricular systole, complete cardiac diastole. Give three marks. Part B, what is meant by stroke volume? Amount of blood pumped by a ventricle by a ventricle, right? By a ventricle. It's very important there. A ventricle, then only. During a single circuit contraction. Amount of blood pumped by a ventricle during a single contraction. One mark. Roman number six. What is meant by lung ventilation? Alternating movement of air into, that means inhalation, and out of lungs, exhalation, one mark. Part C, Roman number one. What are the functions of the skeletal system in humans? Support, protection, support, protection, movement, Storage, next one, storage and release of calcium under the influence of some hormones. Next one, storage and release of phosphate under the influence of some hormones. And last one, production of blood cells in the bone marrow, right? Five marks. If you have written all six, give five marks. If you have written only four, uh, only five, give four marks like that. <laughs> then, what are fontanelles of skull? Fontanelles means soft membranous regions among the bone in the cranium. I may fontanelles only when they knew during natural birth. Are the brains? Brain case again. Hey, mama, what mukadar hai ne? 
ඒක එතකොට අමාරුයි අම්මට අමාරුයි නේද එතකොට මේ ෆොන්ටනස් තියෙද්දි මොකද දැන් සාමාන්‍ය අපි ඔළුව ඇල්ලුවම එබෙන් නැහැ නේ දැන් අලුත් ඉපදිච්ච ළමයින්ගේ ඔළුව ගිහින් අපි ඔබනවද නෑ අල්ලන්නත් එපා කියලානේ කියන්නේ නැහැ ඒ ඒවත් හද නැහැ සොෆ්ට් මෙම්බ්‍රේනියස් රීජන්ස් තියෙනවා එදියට එනකොට අර චූටක් එක පොඩ්ඩක් මේ මේ ඌව වේ කියන්නේ එහෙම අර අපේ ඔළුව වගේ තදට තියෙන්නේ නැහැ හරිද this they are they, these fontanelles are soft membranous regions it helps in parturition one mark write down the functions of following curves of the human vertebral column cervical column uh, curve hold the head upright one mark lumbar curve hold the body upright or keep the body erect one mark then roman number 4 write down two main structural features of cervical vertebrae that differ from typical vertebrae now if we uh, here cervical vertebrae there are a transverse foramen and presence of spinous bifid right structural features presence of transverse foramen then presence of spinous bifid next one write down two functions of animal skeleton protection support movement give two marks for any two correct answers right now tell me how many marks you got out of 100 Right, tell your marks quickly. Oh, good. Very good. Others? Uh huh. Be not not enough, right? You have to study unit five. Okay. यूनिट फाइव एक अलग अपनो यूनिट फाइव एक इन्होंने मार्क्स आठवें लाती किताब पढ़ आंग करा आयशा किताब पढ़ आंग करा नॉन ही सीयूनिट फाइव फाइव एंड थ्री अदर्स Okay, now we will start question number three discussion. Ro uh, question number three part A Roman number one. Write down two main differences between sexual and asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction, right? You know, for the sexual reproduction, two uh, male and female parent organisms should involve. But in asexual reproduction, there is only single parent. right so that is the first difference next one sexual difference it takes relatively long period of time now if we take a birth of a human child it takes how many months at least 9 ne 9 months but if we take the asexual reproduction very short within a very short period of time uh they can they can produce a new a new individual so asexual reproduction they allow rapid multiplication of individuals then uh, in sexual reproduction since two organisms are involved in this right 
time and energy should, should be spent in finding a mate, right? But in asexual reproduction, only single organism is involved. So there is no any time or energy is wasting. We, there is no, uh, no need of spending energy and time in, find, uh, in uh, finding a mate. Then in sexual reproduction, gamete fusion takes place. But in asexual reproduction, no gamete uh, fusion. So for any two uh, correct answers, give two marks. Problem number two, what is parthenogenesis regarding animals? It is an unusual, right? Unusual form of asexual reproduction in which egg is developed into a complete individual without being fertilized. Again, unusual form of asexual reproduction in which egg is developed into a complete individual without being fertilized. Two marks. Problem number three. What are the parts of human male reproductive system where the following events takes place? Now, in 2022, last year, they asked a question from reproductive system in the essay part, from the female, uh, male reproductive group. Part. So here this time they can ask a question from the female reproductive system in the essay part or else there can be some questions from the male reproductive system in the structure essay. Predictions, right? Part A, physiological maturation of sperms. It takes place in epididymis. B, secretion of high percentage of fluid in semen, seminal vesicles, two marks. Name human embryonic membranes. So, no, okay, short note, the end of the end of the Membranes, human development part, right? Chorion, amnion, yolk sac, allantois, four marks. Write down the function for each of the following parts of human female reproductive system. Vagina. Serve as the site where sperms deposit. One mark. Serve as birth canal. One mark. Uterus. Accommodate the fetus during pregnancy. One mark. Implantation of embryo. One mark. Provide contraction for childbirth. One mark. C. Fallopian tube. Site where fertilization takes place. One mark. D. Ovary. Produce female sex hormones. One mark. Produce ova. One mark. Then part B. Roman number one. Define the following terms. Recessive value. Right? Recessive allele means the allele which do not exhibit any noticeable effect. Are you part of it? One mark. Okay. Then epigenetics. Epigenetics means study of occurrence of certain phenotypes of certain characters controlled by factors other than their DNA sequence or genetic code. One mark. Part C, dye hybrid cross. Breeding experiment conducted between two organisms with heterozygous condition for Two specific characters. One mark. Roman number two. Plant and animal breeding cause major impact on world agriculture. State such two major impacts. Production of improved and high yield plant and animal varieties. Enhance the value of food by improving their nutritional quality. Production of new plant varieties that can withstand in unfavorable conditions. Give two marks for any two correct answers. Next one. Name two agricultural crops 
produced from seeds which are habitually self-fertilized. Wheat and oats. Those are given in the genetic lesson. Two marks. Then, what is mutation breeding? Method of inducing desirable mutations in a crop plant using either chemicals or physical agents. Method of inducing desirable mutations in a crop plant using either chemicals or physical agents. One more. B. Name a chemical agent which is used to induce mutation breeding. Sodium acide, ethyl methanosulfonate, right? Sodium acide, ethyl methanosulfonate, one mark. State two physiological features which have been developed by mutation breeding in crops and ornamental plants. This is resistance, early maturity, tolerance to salinity, drought tolerancy. Physiological features, ne? Right? You can't mention about crop yield. It is a morphological feature. Disease resistance, tolerance to salinity, tolerance to drought, early maturity. Two marks. Then, state two physiological features which have been developed by mutation breeding in crops and ornamental no. Then, what is mean by immunity? Immunity is the state of mean resistance to injury, invading pathogens and foreign substances through defensive mechanism in the body. State of mean resistance to injury, invading pathogens and foreign substances through defensive mechanism in the body. Two marks. Roman number two, name types of innate immunity, external barriers and internal defense. Two marks. Roman number three, name special cells and responses related to adaptive immunity. Cell type, T lymphocyte, cell mediated immune response. B lymphocytes, Humoral immune response. Four marks. Then, name uh, Roman number four. Write down two differences between active and passive acquired immunity. Active immunity is long lasting, passive Im immunity short term. One mark. Inactive immunity, memory cells produced. In passive immunity, no memory cells produced. One mark. Inactive immunity, antibodies produced. In passive immunity, no antibodies produced. One mark. For any two, give two marks. Roman number four, write down to, uh, yeah, part B, write down the type of immunity develops in the following events. Number one. Prevention of infection by breast milk in an infant. Naturally acquired passive immunity. One mark. Administering polio vaccine. Artificially acquired active immunity. Part 3. Giving antivenom to a person. Artificially acquired passive immunity. Part 5. How autoimmune disease differ from immune deficiency disease? In autoimmune disease, the immune system become active against self molecules of the body and attack person's own tissues in uh, own tissues. In, in immune deficiency disease, responses of the immune system to add antigens are absent, right? So does not respond against antigen. One mark. Any doubts? Prashna Bhagutti and other? 
Right. Now tell me how many marks you got out of 100. Hmm? How many marks you got out of 100? Very good. 68, 50. You can improve this one, Haridhar. Very good, Daisha. Mama, Sati, good. Tiyan, Ani, Maa, Se, Kaa, Maa, Rakhi, Tare. Abhi, improve karaka, Ani, Pulu, Aangu, Ka. Others? Okay. Right. Now, question number four, part A, Roman number one. State the main step in extraction of DNA. Isolation of DNA, right? Extraction and isolation of DNA. First one, homogenization or disruption of cell. Second one, Inhibition of DNAs. Next one. Dissociation of nucleoprotein complexes. Next one. Removal of contaminating materials. Last one. Precipitation of DNA. Five marks. Roman number two. What is meant by recombinant DNA technology? DNA from Two or more different species are joined together and inserted into a host to obtain new genetic combination. This is called recombinant DNA technology. One mark. Then... Name three types of vectors in recombinant technology. Plasmids, bacteria, bacteriophages, DNA. Yeast, artificial chromosomes, X. Right? Plasmid, bacteriophage, DNA. Yeast, artificial chromosome. Three marks. Stay two fields of study that use sequencing of DNA. Molecular biology, evolutionary biology, medicine, right? Metagenomics, two marks. Roman number five, state two environmental problems that can probably occur using GMOs. Gene pollution, formation of superweed, breakdown of environmental balance, right? Then, uh, development of insects that tolerant crops may harm non-target insects if by accidentally ingesting toxin produced by GM crops. One mark, no, two marks. Part B, Roman number one, that is from environmental biology. What is an ecological niche? Ecological niche means the role that a particular organism plays in its ecosystem, two marks. Next one, write down to abiotic and biotic components of ecosystem. Biotic, plants and animals, abiotic, water, air, two marks. That means in total, four marks. 
part three, define a biome, large geographical area, which is classified based on predominant vegetation adapted to that particular environment. One mark. Sri Lanka includes which biome? Tropical forests. Tropical forest. One mark. Number five. State the conventions related following objectives. Number one. Prevention of pollution by ships. MAPOL. International Convention for Prevention of Pollution from Ships. One mark. Banning and reduction of emission of gases that deplete ozone layer. Montreal Protocol, one mark. Number three, limiting greenhouse gas emission, Kyoto Protocol, one mark. Transboundary uh, movement of hazardous waste, Basel Convention, one mark. Part C, state the main steps of life cycle of bacteriophage, attachment, penetration, biosynthesis, maturation and assembly, and release. Four marks. Then, they have given a table. We have to write down, uh, state how the following material separators are sterilized in the laboratory. PDA, potato dextrose we, we use this one to grow which uh, one? Nutrient ega, potato dextrose ega. This is for the fungi. Method of sterilization, moist heat sterilization. Then thermal abile, culture media, filtration. Inoculating needles, direct flaming, right? Glassware, hot air sterilization, four marks. Then Roman number three, define the following terms. Pathogenicity, it is the ability of a pathogen to cause disease in host by overcoming host defense mechanism. B, virulency, the degree of pathogenicity of the pathogen, number uh, one mark. Last question, state two External factors that affect food spoil, uh, spoilage, temperature of storage, then uh, relative humidity, right? They are, they are asking about the uh, external factors. So what else? Uh, presence and concentration of gases in the environment, right? There are three, temperature of storage, relative humidity of the environment, Presence and concentration of gases in the environment. You can write only three, uh, two and give two marks. Now tell me how many marks you got out of 100. Okay, Vasi. Right. Vasima, you can go for an A, right? It says Mambalanang eighty K Mansud Balamu. Very good. Tell me improve karaka. Okay, Aisha, right? Others? <sighs> Only one is remaining. Very good. Uh -huh. right. right, so this part is over. Now we have essay discussion. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do, a, we are going to start a new revision one. So in that one, we are going to discuss Animal form and function complete chapter, including all theory, MCQs, structured essays, and essays. And uh, that lesson will be covered within just uh, four, three or four weeks. If you want, you can join. Tomorrow it's a free session, right?